Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here in New York City, obviously with a lot of friends. I have to be kind of honest, I'm a little bit starstruck. I have so many icons here. We have Angel from Cuban No, the biggest in the game. Yeah, allegedly. Yeah. allegedly. <laughs> We have Steven from Vitalescence. And then we have Joe Anthony, of course. Very of course. good friend. Long always time on friend. the lives. Yeah. Exactly. And also another OG. Exactly. Happy to be here. So, surprise, surprise. You're not going to guess what we're going to do today. We're going to be smelling some perfumes. Shocker. I just have some things that I really like in my collection recently. I'm gonna have them blind smell it, give it a rating, maybe introduce them to something new. Do not be afraid to hurt my feelings. I have a horrible poker face but I'll pretend that it doesn't really hurt. All right. Okay, so brutally honest, as always. This time it's gonna be a little different too because I'm gonna give myself a strip, all right? I wanna feel involved <laughs> in this. Perfect. All I mean, right. these, these are your favorites? These are, or your current favorites? Yeah, not necessarily, like I'd say my absolute favorite, but definitely right. things that I've been really loving lately. Number one. Are we gonna smell it like Thank at the you. same time or is it a, yeah, thing, yeah. a synergy thing? Oh yeah, all, right. all about the synergy. Okay. Nice spice. Mm hmm. Cedar undertone. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's like a red pepper. I could get with this though. <laughs> Is that cardamom? A little bit of sweetness from some red. Amber. It's nice. It's cold mm -hmm. weather. Yeah, definitely. The texture bit, sucks. Of course. It, it always <laughs> it just, sucks. It always. Of just in general. It's just the worst because it starts yeah. to dissipate. Yeah. And these are thick too. I was going to say it's a little boozy. I yeah. definitely get the spice that Angel is talking about, yeah. and uh, yeah, there's a touch of something sweet underneath. Mm -hmm. There's an amber mixed with something in there. Yeah, there's like an amber red pepper undertone. Mm -hmm. Perfectly unisex. Maybe it's a ginger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. could be a ginger. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's cool. I mean, it's perfect for today's weather. Definitely, oh, it's really nice. Absolutely yeah, amazing. It's really, really nice. Strip, yeah, right, but sure. trust me, this one is very, very strong. Yeah, yeah. It, test strips are the, like the worst interpretation. <laughs> Yeah. Do we find out what it is? Oh yeah, but first I want to hear your rating. <laughs> okay. Oh, like a one to ten? Oh yeah. yeah, give me a one to ten. On this strip, like a seven, seven six. A seven point six. Seven point six. Yeah. Okay. Very specific. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> the, the, the pizza ratings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna give you whole numbers. I'm gonna make you work for it. <laughs> I'd wear this myself. I really like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd probably give this like an eight. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Eight point six. Like 8. he said, 6. I I like it. I already know this is my style. This is yeah. yeah. Nice. So would you guys say that this could possibly be the ultimate panty dropper? Absolutely. I mean, I'd be wearing yeah. it. So yes. I mean, it's a fro. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, why. I'm sorry that you wear underwear. At this mm -hmm. point. <laughs> but you're not dropping your own panties. Right. <laughs> no, who wears underwear? A Com lot of commando people? style. Doing? Weird. Come on. Swing 24. Free balling. Uh, I'm talking about women. <laughs> free balling. Women can free ball. Hey, so, so oh, okay. She did say women panties, in all fairness. <laughs> I think it could be. Possibly. I think depending on how the person wears it, their level of confidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it has a lot going for it. Like Angel said, a little bit of wood, some cedar, some spice, a touch of sweetness, ambery. Definitely. It's really nice. Okay. Love it's it. cold weather vibes. I don't think it has oh, the yeah. versatility to be in. So when you, like when I think of an overall panty dropper, it's gotta be an all situation. I could wear this any point, any That's time, fair. any place and pull it off. This for me screams cold weather. So unless she's freezing her ass off, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a different kind of cold penny drop. That fragrance is Attraction Fatal. Okay. Yeah. Michelle's new fragrance. Dope. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Good. Done Good by Christian Carbonell. Yep. So that's his cold penny drop. It's really <laughs> good. Cold. Yeah. It's yeah, really, good really good. It's got a good body. Wow. Well, I'm glad I didn't guess it because I've never <laughs> smelled it before. Yeah. I would have been disappointed <laughs> if I had smelled it before. It don't smell like cheap shit, I'll tell you that. No, yeah, no. No, awesome. no, no, no. Not at you all. Got, you got props for that. I definitely put it up That's there good. in the niche category, so well done, yeah. Nice. That's going to get some good love, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. Good job. Good job, Charlotte. Good job. Got to do one of these. Mm-hmm. Oh, the mm -hmm. hiding? Oh, yeah. Can't yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, everyone look away. Thank you. Right. Thank you. All right, ready? All right, that one definitely pops in your face. Yes. <laughs> Zesty. Maybe I'm allowed one hint, right? Go ahead. <laughs> this one's also a little boozy. Yeah. There's there's some, what's that sweetness? Reminds me of something I reviewed recently. Mm. Or it's a variation of a DNA I've tried before. Mm -hmm. And if I don't get it, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> yeah, this one isn't that new. It's been around. 
Scotch. Yeah. But it's a hidden gem from the brand that it comes from, and I've made it my life mission to pick it up. For some okay. reason, is it? Like a passion fruit rum under I want to guess, but should I not no, guess yet? No, you can yet? guess, of course. Is it Via Cavour 1 no, by Zertoff? No. 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 But I can see what you're saying, but there's something about this one, I think, it has apple. Yeah, I just said there's like it's a, a little, it's very resinous. Yeah. Frankincense, yeah. myrrh. The myrrh doesn't pop up crazy on the test strip, but I'm getting like a boozy passion fruit, ripe fruit essence mm -hmm. yeah. from the joint that really just pops at the top. Is this something? It's like, nice, yeah. it's a vibe. Yeah. It's a vibe, but it's, definitely pull this off. Is this something that you guys would wear? Yeah, yeah, yeah I would wear it, oh, for sure. I would definitely yeah. wear this, yeah. Definitely, definitely, for sure. Still not as versatile as number one. Yeah. Right. No, but, but it's also not as rich as number one either, though. Yeah. It has more brightness and it does have yeah. a little yeah. bit more. But this is also another one that is a total bomb. Like a total bomb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These strips just, of course, do not yeah, do it justice. These are like thick, cottony strips. <laughs> it's, it's like a lots, pillow. All right. huh? A lot of trees lost their lives for these. R.I.P. <laughs> it's nice. I'd rock it. Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's get you a one to ten. See, now everything is going to get compared to the first fragrance yeah. that we tried. <laughs> so I'm still on that. That kind of set the barometer. Seven. I'm like in that seven, 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 seven eight. All right. Seven hey, point we're moving nine. Up. Yeah. Seven point nine for me. Yeah. Seven, seven, seven eight. Seven point five. I'm going to call all these right, test strip right. ratings. All right. So that one is Overture Woman by Amwaj. Wow. I like that That's one. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that does smell different this on is, this strip. This is because I I know that one. I like that one. This is typical homage movement. They categorize these gender fragrances. Yeah, that and they're no totally gender. unisex. Yeah. You know, Especially so. that booze. Like yeah. you that can see this being kind of that booze does unisex. not lean femme or whatever the hell all. that means. Is it does it just like material? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the one that got released with Jubilation Forty? Dia. 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 Yeah. See that one was kind of on the feminine yeah. side yeah. of things. Yeah. Not this. No, no, this is more masculine than yeah. feminine. If, whatever, who could put, wear whatever. <laughs> I think it's a vibe. I wear a feminine Just buy one. everything. See, now I might pick it up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You know? yeah, it's, exactly. No, it's right. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah, rocking, for sure. sure. That's why we're friends. Exactly. All right, so let's take it in a different direction. Maybe a little brighter. It's like a cookie. A cookie! <laughs> like I can a see that. It's like a yeasty cookie. Yeah, bread-like. No, Some. I can't pull this off. And now incense. I need to work on my poker face. Myrrh. Poker face, poker face. It's like a cookie myrrh Slow incense. Down. Yeah, it's definitely smoky. Yeah. Yeah. The smoke comes up heavy. After Reminds opening, me. It's like a biscotti cookie. So good. Almond. Reminds me of a uh, perfume aroma that I tried a long time ago. It was like smoky but sweet at the same time. It could yeah. be fumitous but not as heavy. So with this one you get. I'm leaving, I'm, but you know what? I don't care. Leave, girl. No, go right? ahead. Leave. It's, it's so a conversation. Leave. It's not going to change nobody's rating. It's right. still shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's definitely not shit. But I would have yeah. it. This one has neroli, of... cashmere, a lot of vetiver, lavender. Joe might be guessing what it's, it is. I'm trying it's to like process. <laughs> what are the nose again? I think it has leather as well. Neroli, cashmere, yeah. lavender, tonka bean. Mm. And vetiver, a lot of vetiver. We're I don't so pick up a ton of vetiver. I get, yeah, I'm now getting like a, a, a medicinal. Strip. I'm getting a medicinal kind of herbal. Yeah, herbal note off of it. So it went from a yeasty biscotti cookie to this herbal, <laughs> greenish kind of tiger bombish energy. Yeah, That's the vetiver definitely does a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's that it's sort of aggressive vetiver. Almost cypriot oil droplets also, like mm. subliminally, on mm. top of that vetiver. No, I wouldn't pull this off. Not for me. I'm gonna give this a nine. You like it? Yeah, I like it a lot. This is probably the one that I would wear. Yeah. More so that. from the ones that I've tried. I yeah. can see you pulling. I can see that too. Yeah. I can definitely see you pulling. I too. love this one. Don't let that sway you. But to me, anytime I talk about this scent, for me, I always describe it as like the perfect gentleman. I don't know, like the type of man that can do everything. Because it kind of has a little bit of that gourmand, kind of cozy mm -hmm. side, uh -huh. but has that kind of classic, like a twist on a fougere side. Okay. And I like the kind of dry, earthy vetiver at the end. Okay. But that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't picture, I wouldn't call this my perfect man. So. Yeah, yeah, everyone's different. You know. It's different. At all. I'm not aroused. No. <laughs> okay. mm, 4.8. Six point five. Steven already hit a nine. As a composition, I like it, but I can't, I can't get behind it for me. So uh, that one is Smash, comes, comes out Smash wow. by Super's Budapest. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 
Okay. Demon's gonna spray it all over his chesticles later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would. Count on it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very Thank you. welcome. Oh, we definitely went left. Oh, uh, this one's dark. Mm. <laughs> almost it's leathery. Yeah, it's got yeah a for sure. Note, though. Mm -hmm. It does, yeah. It's got an almost pomelo tartness. Like a yuzu grapefruit yes. pomelo, yeah. yeah. I also a subliminal incense-y kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of. There's a little bit of a church ass smell here. Yeah. Like that bench. <laughs> for sure. You know it well. <laughs> I'll sniff a seat. There's subliminal soap. There's like nothing soapy? Nothing sweet in here. Nothing. It's soapy. Soapy, right? Yeah. Like lavender or something. Like a clean floral lavender. Mm -hmm. It leans full. Well, it's this, nice. It's complex. Yeah. This yeah. one's just released. It's complex. Like, two weeks, three weeks ago. So I think yeah, it's it nice. It's complex. There's a lot of soapiness coming up now. This is good. Maybe a, a subtle clary seed kind of. Mm-hmm. It's what done in unison. <laughs> swings here. It's nice. It's a good vibe. All right. I rock it. Feels yeah. like it might be a little linear. It, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I can totally see, see that. There isn't drastic changes. Ones are popping up a little bit more than another, but it, the one's not superseding it. Mm -hmm. Like after it officially dries down. Yeah, I give this like a also, I mean, I'm mean, living in the sevens right now, bro. But it's like a seven, eight, seven, nine. It's nice. I'd rock it. Yeah, for sure. Seven, six. Seven point six for me. I'm also going to do a seven point six. There you go. I influence right. the crowd. Yeah, this. <laughs> Like always. Yeah, this one's definitely a little more, it's not going to be for everyone. Right. Definitely. It's a little more complex, Yeah. a little more complicated, but I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. No, it's definitely cool. Yeah, yeah. especially as for a sure. newer release, it just came out, I was like, oh yeah, okay. I can rock with it. So that one is... Uh, what are you rating it? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about me. Yeah. Uh, I give it a solid 8. Okay. okay. Nice. So that one is Mikalev's Desire Toxic Lintan. I don't yeah. get this. I don't get it at all. It smells so different from Desert uh -huh. Toxic. Yeah, it does. It does. I have really? It. Yeah. And it doesn't smell like this on my really? skin at all. Yeah. At all. That's funny. Not at all. Yeah. That, well, that, definitely wrong. That's how I felt with Overture when she said it was Overture. I yeah, was like, no, it's, it's what? To, you know, it's a movie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Kylie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. I'm like the most polite <laughs> guest ever. Well, I'm not trying to get you demonetized. Right. Make that happen quick. I'm already halfway there. It's Floral, like, Girl, very bright. <laughs> you don't know what that is yet. <laughs> this is very femi. Yeah. Very floral forward. Kind of musky. I just walked into the botanical gardens and dry humped. Like, this is <laughs> fucking crazy. Put for my me. face all in it. It's it, in smells the same. A, it smells a little elderly for me. Yeah. A little elderly? It's yeah, a lot of tuberose. Yeah, yeah. This is like a grandma. Mm. Honey, Mark tuberose, Adams. and tobacco. Yeah, it's that tuberose mm -hmm. for me is really. It's starting to transition, it's though. for me. Tuberose is not a great note for me. Mm. It really has to be blended in with a lot of supporting notes. Yeah, it smells like a sexy old lady. She's got a <laughs> Chanel scarf. I'll still take her down and break her hip. I'm sure. All day. Yeah, no, I would never wear this ever in life. Really? But wow. No, hell no. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> you? I must smell like a transition from an old dude to an old woman. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting paid for drag. It's hey, you never fun. know. No, 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 I tried that back. <laughs> it just didn't work out. I'll stick to Chippendales. <laughs> yeah, no, very feminine. For me, a little on the elderly bad chick vibe, like a sugar mama, which okay. if you're out there, hey, pay my mortgage. Please. I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't pull this off. For me, no. And Where I, I smell this on a... On yeah. a I love how Steven is so, like, contemplative in the back. <laughs> oh, no, it's like, like, I don't want to say anything to yeah. contradict what no, he's saying. No, you like, absolutely right. should contradict. Please, Steve, We have, like, him, please. please, 100%. <laughs> I don't want to compare it to anything else that we tried, but in terms of the ingredients and the quality, it seems like the best so far. Right. Okay. Yeah, the florals are... Florals are super... They come right. through very organic. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. It's a like, very nice composition for a fragrance. But yeah, very starchy. Yeah. Almost like... Absolutely. um. You said tuberose? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so almost like an irisy tuberose. Yeah. This isn't Torino 23, is it? No. But it's in that... Kind of in that realm. Same vein, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. I'm starting to like tuberose, so... I'd wear it I'd myself, wear it. Growing up, but... We're maturing. It makes one of us. I mean, <laughs> that's three minus one here. <laughs> um, I'm a Toys R Us kid all day. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. Th this is an eight. No way. Even eight flat across the board, even eight. I'd wear it, but only for springtime. Yeah. But I wouldn't wear this like on a date. I'm not gonna try to no. pull this off. This is like, I'm going to the beach or something. 
casual, relaxed, and all that event. It's definitely grounding, very meditative. Hard, as Angel said, kind of hard to recommend. This is one where I would say try it for yourself yeah, because mm -hmm. people have an aversion to floral ingredients. They're going to stay away from this. Yeah, but see, the like, quality is there. Yeah. The quality is 100% there. But are we rating on quality or are we rating on what we wear it? Or right. We're rating it on do you like the smell? If it's your type That's of vibe. Yeah. I like the smell. I would never wear it. I think it would be, it would be sexy on an older woman and older. I'm really honestly talking about like 35 plus. Not older. Okay. But, or like, yeah. you know, you older. Come hey. on. It's fine. Yeah, no, I wouldn't wear it. So for me, um, if I would wear it, it's living in that four space. As far as quality, it's absolutely got quality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just can't pull that off at all. Not my personal energy. You gotta respect that. I think I'd give it an eight. Okay, so we're on, on yeah. par with the same. So eight, 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 four. Yeah, four and change. Yeah, I love this one too, but definitely a little more feminine. This is a scent that I tried um, when we were at Scent Explorer. Mm -hmm. It's sax. I just fell madly in love with it. It's called Bravi. Okay, Bravi. Bravi. All right, I can smell this one already. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's good. Mm -hmm. It is good. Ah. Mm. This one needs a minute. This mm. one has a lot of potential. It yeah. just needs a minute. There's a sweetness that I got right off the bat. Yes. Yeah, it's but it's not a typical vanilla sweetness. It's not ambery either. Almost like a spicy sweetness. Mm -hmm. I could I could see how you're 100 percent pinpointing the amber, and it can be easily confused with the amber though. Mm -hmm. There's something here though. It's it's a mix of two notes that are kind of colliding, trying to make themselves work a little bit. And I mm -hmm. think it just has to do with the fragrance trying to compose itself, like right. really trying to settle. But it's got balls for sure. It does. This is yeah. definitely a performance beast. Yeah, hundred percent. It also has a little bit of that that plasticky, rubbery smell, which usually means that on the dry down, it's gonna just really like settle really nicely. Mm -hmm. But the opening just is very confusing. Mm -hmm. It's trying to be a lot of things because I'm getting like a subliminal clove. Yes. Like there's a weird undertone yeah, of clove. Yeah, there's something a little kind of vintagey about it, but really good. There is something kind of bright, right? Like yes. mentholated in right. here, like a clove, eucalyptus, there mint, yes. something yeah, in there. Yeah. Combination. Metallic. I don't get a ton of. I'm getting a lot more mentholic. Yeah. Kind of herbal. herbal. Yeah. Clove. Mm -hmm. It's complex. It's slightly confusing, but it's not bad. No. It's definitely a powerhouse, for yeah. sure. This can be something that you gotta chill with the trigger, because it'll <laughs> easily hit the back of the brain. It's, really it's not linear at all, though, because there is change. No, it like changes the, the a change, lot. The change that's going on is pretty consistent. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a, a Healy fragrance. I think it's bubblegum chic, something or other, oh, where the floral place. ingredients are like making it sweet, right. but there's no actual sweetness in there. I don't know. It's really interesting, yeah, it's different. Interesting is the best word to call it. Interesting, I think it's wow. very interesting. It'll keep you, it'll have that repetitive fact that like, hmm, let me keep smelling it and see what else I find. Mm -hmm. Right. It has that. I don't know as far as like mass appeal, I think this oh, would no. be too complicated for yeah. people to even understand or even take the time to smell this. So in that aspect, I wouldn't recommend it. This is definitely a tester Yeah. kind of situation. You would have to be in that artsy, niche, snobby kind of situation exactly. to really even go to purchase this type of fragrance, but you can tell it's got a little bit of a nice price point. It's not cheap. Oh, it's not cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap. You can definitely tell that the performance is gonna be crazy, but it's it's more on the artsy side. Oh yeah, definitely. Hmm. All right, one to 10. Seven. I give it a nine. Five and a half in terms of me wearing it. Again, great composition, but. I give it a seven, because I know much. I would be able to pull this off, but it'd have to be cold weather only. Right. And it's gotta be like, under four to five, ma I mean max, because you'll choke somebody out with that. Yeah, mm. 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. But it's complex. It's, mm -hmm. it's got body. It's got a lot of body. So that one is Dance His Bras by Frederick Maw. Interesting, and I'm not a Maw fan. And that's <laughs> exactly I'm not a fan. why. I don't why own I? this one. Yeah. I'm not as big into Maw. I'm not a Maw fan. One? A seven for a Maw fragrance is like a 10. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm not a Maw guy. All right. Well, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, Listen, who cares? You wear what you like, you like what you like. No, you shouldn't care what anybody else thinks. Does it make you feel fly and sexy? Thank you. That's all that matters. Everybody Thank else, you. everybody's always gonna have an opinion of something. Mm -hmm. True. Oh, this is fruity, playful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all play. 
It's fun. Flirty. Yeah. This is fun. Candy. Citrusy. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little change going on. Fruity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fun. I like this. It's definitely playful. This got more versatility. A whole lot more. Yeah. A whole For lot. sure. Is it a baby maker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I drop a couple and forget their names. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> no phone number. Give me an alias. By the way, Angel is the same person off camera as he is <laughs> yes, on camera. He is. In case any yeah, of you at no, home are wondering. This shit ain't an act. It is what it is. I rock this though. I pull yeah. this off all yeah. This is let's go get drinks and then yeah. go somewhere afterwards. Yeah. All day. Exactly. Yeah, it is kind of a fruity, ethyl maltal fragrance. Ethyl who? What? <laughs> It has that sugary quality, come on, right? Man. <laughs> Fucking for dummies here. Dude, come on. English for me. I don't eat them all. You're so stupid. You're the biggest in the game. I'm the biggest stupid one. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I wear it. I wear it. Super playful, very fun, easy. This will kind of be, it's definitely niche. -y, yeah. But it's kind nice. of like yeah. a. Entry level niche as far as like oh, I'm not gonna have to think too crazy to I can wear this and not yeah, like definitely. worry about it. I want to yeah, give you guys some hints. Go ahead, shoot. Sprinkle it in there a little. Go ahead. So we're gonna have some nice cashmere. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have quince, mm -hmm. dark chocolate, caramel vanilla, some. Eight <laughs> <laughs> fucking description. <laughs> We're gonna float <laughs> chocolate exactly. all over your chest, right? And then we're gonna just squeeze quince. Is quince a fruit? It is. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, bananas and apple, bro. Wait. <laughs> they got that shit in the bodega? No. It's exotic, all right? It's super exotic. exotic. I wear this shit all day. Yeah, I'd give yeah, it to it's, like, uh, it's really good. 8.5. 8.8. I'd rock that. 8.8. I think I reviewed this one recently. Mm. So. You wanna guess? I think I said the name of it before, but I probably give this one up for me personally, like a nine and a half, ten. Yeah, yeah really I, I yeah, love this fun. stuff. I like that. It's love good. it. It's a vibe. So that one is Via Cavour one. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Yeah. My yeah. heart and soul, my number one fragrance of all time. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, just, it's kind of one so of those no-brainers. So good though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, good. It's a vibe. I need to nice. add that. I've been wanting to add that one. I thought you had it. No, I, I went with the Kemi Hermetic. Oh, yeah, well, that was stupid. Oh, shit. It was an exclusive. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to get it. I could get Via Cavour anytime. It was exclusive like two months ago. Exactly. <laughs> I smell oh, this yeah. already. This is super, another playful, fun candy, fruity. Candy. Yeah. <laughs> Soapy. Definitely Clarice. citrusy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, citrus, clary sage. A lot of that bergamot neroli. Mm hmm. There's a subliminal, like, I don't know if it's coffee or a toffee essence, something. Yeah, toffee it essence It gives me, like, a toffee sure. vibe. Yeah. I don't know. Another easy, easy, playful. Fun. fun time. Yeah, fun. I could pull this off in the summer in my G-string. Yeah. <laughs> Some pina con <laughs> coladas or something. Cheeks in the sun. Yeah, assless traps all day. Yeah, it's almost like a, like a cardamom yeah. citrus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my mind is still there with Zerzhov and everything, but... I got like neo vibes in the mm. opening with that bright natural citrus, but there's something else going on underneath. Yeah. yeah. So this is actually a designer. Mm. No, really? Yeah. Wow. It's really? Cool I'm getting soapy clary sage. Is it you? No. But nobody talks about it but me. And I know you guys all watch all of my videos. I don't watch anybody. <laughs> I say that shit, bro. Yeah. I don't watch nobody. A chef does not go home and want to cook. I'm I love chef. how humble you are. No, I keep you it know. a thousand. Like, this, hey. You will never get fakeness out of me. I'm watching porn and car videos. <laughs> all right? I'm not going to be talking about fragrance all day and watching more fragrance. Nope. I like it. I think it's funny. This is designer. This is a, a at least on strip, this yeah. is a fun design. Oh, it is freaking good on skin. It is amazing in the air. I think super playful. Another easy grab. Yeah. Very fun, fruity. Apple, Give me some brandy, rum, time. pineapple, a lot of broccoli. Manzanate, she Ma said. Man Manzanate? Manzanate. 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 Shit got Manzanate in it. 8.4. Eight, 8. Yeah, I live in that. 8.4. 8. This is good. Good yeah. time. I could yeah. wear this anytime, any place, not even think about it. Yeah, I'm probably at the same 8.4. Definitely one of the most versatile that we smelled today. Yeah, I'd probably sure. give it an 8. The last two are the most versatile for sure. The designer. I don't know if it's like. What is it? I think I, kn I think I know what this is. is. is I think I know what this is. No, no. No, I think I know what this is. Apple brandy on the rocks. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. 
Killian. I, I start to with smell the that. parent company. Yeah. yeah, I can see yeah. people are calling it designer. Yeah, yeah. I, I quote well, now that they do like lipstick and stuff, though. you know. No, so that's true. Apple brandy on the rocks. Oh, no. in the rocks. the rocks, the smaller picture. bottle. Yeah. Oh no. Never mind, it's so good. It started to get yeah, that. Good. I started yeah, getting sure. that aromatic phase. Yeah. I was like, wait, hold on. Definitely smells. A lot of these smell different on the test strip. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Totally. They do. Totally. All right, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Alrighty, what's next? See, everybody yeah, wears good. Angel Share. Exactly. They forgot exactly. all about Apple Brandy. Apple Brandy. So the OG better. Apple Brandy has got a cr the, one of the craziest liquor smells. Though. It does. Yeah. That and single Sing malt. Single malt. Single yeah. malt is both of those. Wild. Mm. Oh, this is. Hmm. Yo, you know what this kind of reminds me of subliminally? SJ, SJP stash. Really? Somehow wow. the the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow the but woods. But sweeter. Yes. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Sarah Jessica Sarah Parker, Parker has a crazy fragrance that's like a Whoa. twenty dollar fragrance yeah, yeah. that has it smells nothing like what you ever think about Sarah. Really? No. Or a twenty dollar fragrance. Yeah. It's <laughs> Some people were comparing it to Santel thirty three for a bit. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. I'm still. Am, am I still technically considered a baby? I'm like coming up on two years. <laughs> no, no, no. Can't believe it. That's it's crazy. Been so long. That is crazy. Time flies. I was doing videos with you like mm -hmm. a couple months after like I started. Like jeez. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how long you've been doing it. It's all about how passionate you are. Yeah. Maybe some like cola esque vibes. Mm. Maybe a little cherry esque. Cherry yeah. Okay, now that you say cherry cola, maybe. Mm -hmm. Now you put it in my brain. Heliotrope, it's interesting. vanilla. Yeah, it's Heliotrope. a little sticky. Yeah. It's, it's very beloved. It's not Tonka Cola, is it? No. No. I'm confused with this one. I don't know if I love it or hate it. Love it or hate yeah. it. Yeah. Can I, I guess? I like this. Yeah. yeah. Is it Born to be Unforgettable by no. Killian? No. Uh -huh. You said cola, so that came to mind. Yeah. Oh no, I hate that. Yeah, I would never that, that wouldn't that. have even made it on the trip. <laughs> no. That much I did. I thought that too. Uh uh. Is this? No, yeah. is and this no, isn't no, creation. This is. Creation E. No. No idea what it is, but I'm indifferent. I like it, but I versatility is gone for this. I don't know what I rate this. I like it a lot, but I think it needs to be a little stronger. That heliotrope. Yeah, it is a little bit not intimate, but it's not like a crazy performance. See, I have issues with. He, like notes like heliotrope and tuberose when they're a little bit too prominent mm -hmm. they just don't do it for me just like neroli mm -hmm. like, yeah. it's got to be complemented with a ton yeah. of shit on top of it if not i just get that baby ass smell right? is it another sugar mama scent this yeah no i don't no. think I don't think my old sugar mama would pay more than this. Mm. Well, Maybe yeah. a car payment here yeah, and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just take me out to eat. <laughs> Semi-annual, yeah, yeah. you know? Give me a dollar slice. <laughs> I don't know. That's, the rating's going to be difficult on this one. It's two all over the place. Six. Yeah, I'm, I'm Six. hovering in the five. It's a little bit all over the place for me. The smell I really like. I like a lot. But I'm interested to see how it's going to perform on skin. So for the time being, I would probably give it a 7.5. I think mm. on skin, that heliotrope is going to pop crazy. I think so. Mm. He's having nightmares about it already. Yeah. He's like draining mm -hmm. in the thought. Mm -hmm. So that one, uh -huh. Rouge Smoking by BDK. Wow, really? The whole reason that we're here, you guys are stomping all over it. Good, I'll tell them that to their face. It too. actually <laughs> wasn't one of my favorites, though, so that would explain I never it. smelled it. But he's so, actually wearing uh, Gris Charnel Extreme. So. I am. And it's strong on him. Yes, I yes, smelled him in the yeah. lobby. And this one is actually, the good news is that it does perform. Right. So. Great job, Eric. A lot of eclectic vibes here. A little bit of everything Thank for everybody. You. A little bit of everything, yeah. You? Let's see. Oh, Thank Jesus you. Christ. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. <clears throat> this is bright. Who just fucked in the Caribbean? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. There's fruit everywhere. God damn. Musk. Yeah, musk, for sure. <laughs> That's Fruit. such a perfect way to describe it, too. Very, like, <laughs> lime, lemony, yeah. yeah. And I never thought of it that way, either. Which one? Which, <laughs> which one? See it. That Sex it. on the Beach vibe. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Sex on the Beach is so overrated. Sand everywhere. Sand everywhere. Sand everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly, I've heard. Give us a hint. Designer or niche? Designer. No, it's designer. Yeah, I got designer. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what the hell it is, but I, I've... It just 
Yeah, this is a uh, this is design. This could even be designer private, like one of the private lines. Yeah, it's not. Everyone's getting more and more confused <laughs> as time goes on. I'd recommend this. I wouldn't wear it. It's nice. Work for the summertime, springtime. Mm -hmm. Six five. Right from it. Six five. Five eight. Very easy to recommend. I think versatility is going to be compromised a little bit. Better for the hotter weather. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, nice. yeah, maybe maybe a seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that one is Boss Bottled Oud. Oud? Oud? <laughs> Where's the Oud? Yeah, Boss right. Bottled Cipriola. Uh, hell no. Yeah. Oh, I gave it a thumbs down. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep the same fucking. You know? There's no Oud in there. Boss Bottled Nagarmoda. Yeah, that's what it is. She's cute, she's candy, she's soft. Yeah. She's shy, but she's a freak. <laughs> yeah. Give her one or two drinks. This is, yeah, this is the silent chick. She's like, I've never done this before. <laughs> Get my gag ball. Yeah, this is a whore. You know what I'm saying? She's she's nasty. She, she's a kinky little, mm -hmm. uh, you get the bat phone. I like that. Yeah, I'll give her my phone number. Would I wear it? Uh, it'll rub off on me when we're doing the horizontal mom. Oh, Fun, yeah. playful. Yeah. There's a little bit of like a sun tanny, coconutish lotion energies, powdery. Mm. I like it. Slutty Miami girl. Yeah! <laughs> Those are the best kind! <laughs> the 305, baby. Would I wear it? Uh -huh. If it was there, would I go out and buy it? No. no. If it was there, like, oh, I like the smell. Right. I like the smell. I think it's sexy. I want to smell it on a chick, though. For me, That's like, fair. I would disrespect somebody wearing that. It's like 40 <laughs> bucks, too. That's fantastic for 40 bucks. It's a no-brainer. For 40 bucks, a no-brainer. On the type right. of female that I like. I think Slutty Miami girls. <laughs> talk to me nice! Angel got in my head now. Is this marketing? Marketing Miami women? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I'm wondering, is it marketed for women? I don't think so. It might be. I'm not exactly sure Steve because this because I can see what you're what yeah. you're going for. Well, yeah, I'm not even sure youthful, if this line is even flirty. available in America anymore. Like I've never seen it in a store. Okay. So I have no, no I'm idea. Curious about it. But it might be marketed towards women. But I I don't think on so. a shorty. Uh, I'd give this like a seven eight maybe yeah. eight. Yeah, yeah I would love to see this. Huh? Tolly. Tolly. Shorty. A tall, oh, shit. <laughs> on a Tolly, uh, on a nasty Miami chick, 12. No, I like it. I like it on, on a girl, I would love it. Mm -hmm. For sure. For me, eh, when I feel like a chick. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Which could happen a couple days a week, who knows? Mm. You think it's slutty Miami women? <laughs> I'm going to give it the same rating you gave it. There you yeah. go. You think it's slutty Miami women. I like it. I like it. Corrupt you. Eight on a woman. He. You kind of swayed me. Yeah, yeah I do that. This is this is this is. Don't get slayed, Miami women. But yes. I like I like getting the feedback because I've never actually thought of this on now a woman. Yeah, slutty Miami women. Yeah, yeah, now I'm thinking of slutty Miami <laughs> girls. Hey. Yeah. So that one is Amber Malachi, Amber Malachi, by Chopard. Really? <laughs> oh, really interesting. Yeah. I've never. I got very limited experience with Chopard fragrances, but hey, listen, I yeah. wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect that from Chopard. That's the orange juice, right? Right. The yeah. taller. Yeah, the brown yeah. bottle. Yeah, I haven't seen that bottle or heard of that bottle in a very long time. You said it was like 40 bucks? It's fantastic. Yeah, it's not yeah bad. For 40 bucks, that's a no brainer. Well, that was fun, a little traumatizing. Hey. Why? Tell me what's traumatizing. It's Victim cold. complex, you know, I'm not really traumatized, but I like to feel important sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Let's all pick our favorite. Yes, I like that idea, Steven. All right. <laughs> um. You don't even remember any of that. <laughs> Rouge smoking. Really? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say Curly's was really, really yeah, good. Yeah, the that, amouge surprised hers me. Su her, hers was surprising, for sure. Hers was good. Yeah. Her, hers is uh, really good. The amouage is a grenade. It was very good. The Zhirzhov, I think, has the, the yeah. more versatility, like the easy recommendation. What was the, the Via? Via, Via Cavour, Cavour 1. Via, yeah. Via Cavour 1. I think that one would be... Easy to wear, easy to recommend. It's kind of a no-brainer. Like you're not gonna feel bad about it. I, I find it hard for anybody not to like it. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that one would be my choice. Yeah. Nice. It's my choice too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mine. And mine.
explain. What do oh, you know? Right. We all agree at the end. So where's the trauma? <laughs> we all like the same shit. I, I'll give you props. There's a lot of versatility. In, in the fragrances you brought, there's nothing that's redundant or whatever. Mm -hmm. so. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I love yes. that. I love that. Thank, right. Thank I, you. I smelled a lot of shit that yeah. I haven't smelled, so definitely. Like this, this type that's of video is fun. iconic. You know, I feel like that in this community, we don't get together as much as we should. For sure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, take the time to make content together, which we definitely should be doing. So I'm happy that we all got together. Thank sure. you for in having person, me here. Yay. Me too. IRL. And thank you guys for giving some feedback on some of my fragrances. Oh, for sure. Thank Always a guys. pleasure. Very fun. Definitely. You guys are great. And of course, you need to follow everyone. I know you already follow them, but make sure, double check. Unsubscribe. <laughs> for, for me, unsubscribe. All right, guys. Well, we have a party to go to. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Erica. See you guys thank next you. time. Bye. <laughs> now we just got to pray it wasn't filmed in slow-mo. What do you mean? <laughs> no.